Hey guys, I am back with you today to share a, another for Styler product um, for those of you who um, have seen my channel before, you are familiar with the Four Styler Twister, and if you are not, I'll probably put a link below or above um, with the clip of that um, because that is a four and first and foremost the product you need to know about um, to check out first. But um, I was able to get my hands on one of their newer products that is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, pretty revolutionary. Um, I might say so myself. And it is called a Four Styler 2-in-1. Let me get the box for you. This is it right here. The Four Styler 2-in-1. Um, the revolutionary part about this is it's a convertible hair system. So it is putting um, the uh, options of using a curling iron and a straightening iron into one product. Um, which is pretty amazing. Plus there is a automatic rotation on the head so it's um, cutting out a little bit of that extra uh, movement that you would have to use um, when you um, are actually doing the curling part of it. So it's pretty cool. It's two in one um, and it says on here it goes from a 32 millimeter to a 25 millimeter um, uh, on the wand itself. So you can kind of play with the um, the width on the and your hair control. Um, but let me show you what it looks like before we get into it. So I have it plugged in. This is it right here. It plugged in. Um, let me just make sure. I believe it goes up to 400 and how many degrees? 450. It goes up to 450 and it starts. You can go as low as 250, but I believe if I'm not correct, it automatically jumps to 350. That's in Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, which is probably a good standard. You can go up or down. And as you can see from here, you have your power control. You have your um, motor control, which is gonna be the speed of the motor that controls left and right. You have your um, up for heat and your down for heat. So you can obviously like lower it if you wanted to, or you can put it back up. Um, let's, I think I had a 350. Um, the motor, you can go as fast, let's see. You hit motor and I think you just go up from there. So you, you can go up to five. I think this was set on three before, so we'll leave it at three. And that just controls how fast the motor is actually going to be going um, on the, the wand itself. And you'll just quickly see it rotates for you. So it's pretty cool. Um, it has obviously the standing area, which is really nice to keep it off of any um, surfaces. And of course, the part that you want to see is how does it really convert from a um, curling iron to a straightening wand? Well, there is a mechanism on the front that'll actually lock in and out of position. So if it's turned to the left, it's actually going to become a straightening iron, if you can see. And if you lock it up like that, it actually closes that apparatus and just opens the area in which you would use as a curling iron. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you guys basically um, a look today utilizing this. Um, this time of year, um, beach waves are pretty much all the rave, if you want to call it that. Most people are... Um, let me turn them off. Um, most people are trying to do beach waves, uh, you know, and I think it, I've figured out how to actually replicate a really easy beach wave with this. I mean, there's so many other things you can do from straightening your hair to t um, tighter curls to more waves. So the possibilities are quite endless with this piece. Um, but I just wanted to show you one thing today on how to utilize it. And especially this time here, like I said, beach waves are pretty much um, a go-to, a standard, an easy, beachy, undone look. So I'm going to show you how to do that and achieve that today with the Four Styler. So what I've done already today is I have obviously washed my hair and I have blowed it dry. There are many times that I won't blow it dry, I'll let my hair fully air dry. And then when I'm done with that, that's when I'll do the heat styling. I typically find it's better for your hair to avoid as much heat styling as possible unless it's necessary. So in most instances, I will let my hair air dry after I've washed it and put a little bit of serum in toward the bottom um, part of my hair to help seal the cuticle of the hair, of the, the cuticle of follicle, so that it actually um, will be a little bit easier when I'm using a heat styling tool. Um, I find it's better because the least amount of heat you're using on your hair, the better 
um, the curl is, the straightening, whatever you're doing to your hair. It keeps the hair as healthy as possible. So when I can, I try to utilize the fact of using less um, of a straightening or, or of a heating tool unless I needed to last. So typically today, I didn't. I actually just blew out the rest of my hair. So you can even tell it's half blown out because it kind of gets like, see how like dry and frizzy? It's it still, regardless of what I use, it just, it's better for that. But for this reason, I blew it dry fast. So what I'm going to do is I have a serum in my hair already. And like I said, I put it toward the bottom half of my hair. And that's because if that's usually typically the areas that are dry or weaker, brittle. You kind of just want to help seal those cuticles. So it's typically I'll do it from probably the mid part of the hair down. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I parted my hair. You can part it however you want. I always seem to part it off. I kind of follow the kind of grain of my hair, if you want to call it, the way it typically will fall. Because beach waves are typically more of a natural undone look. So you want to make it as natural as your hair will allow it. So I'm going to part my hair. And I'm going to part it in half, as you can see. And I am actually then also going to part it, I mean you don't have to do this part, into two sections here. It's just easier to work with, I find, and I'll do the same on this side. Now this is what works for my hair. It may work different for your hair, but this is what works for me. So I have my iron and it's heated up to 350. Just so you know, the iron heats up quite fast. So you don't really have much leeway. So it's actually great because you don't have to be like, all right, let me set it and I'll do my makeup while I'm waiting for it. It heats up relatively fast. So that's an awesome thing. Um, but also be careful because it does get hot. Um, they do include a glove with the unit. Um, I always have issues with the gloves they include in any of the ones I've ever gotten. I feel like they're just not... Um, they don't, they're not like tight enough to my hand and they get bulky and then I can't reach the hair. I'll use it most of the time, sometimes I don't, and then I have like scars like this because I burn myself. But that's the, that's what I do and if that's the, the chance I take when doing it. So be careful. I would definitely, if you're not used to a product like this, use the, um, the glove that comes with it, the heat resistant glove. It's made there for a purpose. It's up to you if you don't want to use it, but I do suggest until at least you're comfortable doing that, but really just use the glove. Um, I don't, and that's just my, uh, my, my reasoning on not using it. So I've got my hair here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make, so with beach curls or beach waves, um, beach waves are very messy and undone. So what we want to do is make them larger than most curls because we're trying to achieve that wavy look. So for here, I'm probably going to go for an inch, inch and a half of hair that I'm going to pull. And when I do it, I'm going to leave out the bottom section, a good bottom section piece, maybe an inch, inch and a half as well of the bottom that's going to be straight. The reason being is you don't want a full tight curl. You want to basically make it as natural, which is basically what it is, as possible. So... Here we go. Let's see, this is not too much. My hair is so long. All right, that might be too much. Let me just pull a little bit out more of that. There you go. Let's pick here. All right. So, now with this iron, you, like I said, you can do the motor left and right, which is really cool. Um, I typically will try to rotate each and every other curl one away from the face, one forward the face. And you always want to make sure you frame the face so kind of hopefully it goes like that. There are sometimes though I'll just do a whole bunch forward and then a whole bunch back. Typically it's up to you. If you rotate um, forward and away, you're generally going to make more volume in your hair because they're not going, your curls aren't going to intertwine and kind of lock into each other. They're going to bounce off each other, which is going to create more volume. So that's just a tip as well. So I am going to... Let's see, really should technically, hold on, do it this way because I am a righty. So, get your hair in here like so, and I'm going to leave out, and let's see, I guess about an inch or more so, and you just clip it in, and then you're just going to curl it. So watch, you just hit the button, and it depends on how, oh, let me just fix that. It depends on how fast the motor you have to go. Okay. So I have it there, as tight as I want it, and you do see the hair that's still sticking out at the end. I'll probably leave it here for typically about 
20 seconds or so. I mean, it really depends on your hair. Everybody's hair is different. Everybody's hair holds differently. Um, I find that if I leave it for about 10, 20 seconds, it should hold the curl pretty okay. well, especially. So I just removed it and you can see the curl itself. It, I had it in there for about 15, 20 seconds and you do see how the bottom area of the hair is just um, left straight, which is going to work great for us. When I take it out, of course, just like anything, you want to kind of let it be a little cool and loosen your hand before letting it fall because the faster you let it fall, it won't hold the curl and it probably will more than likely fall out. It just all depends on your hair. Um, you can, in between, if you have hair that doesn't hold, um, use a flexible hairspray. Um, I typically, um, I like the Amica Touchable Hairspray. This one I like the best. Um, I like their products to begin with, so this hairspray works really well. It doesn't leave a crunchy. It's perfect for curls and styles like this because it it holds the hair, but it doesn't make it that crunchy feel, which is not what we're looking for. So you can use this in between. I'll be fine probably right now with this until the end, and then I'll spray a little bit. So I'll continue on and show you a little bit more on um, more pieces of the hair. So let's go like this. Let's pull another piece. Just to the side. So another piece, like I said, about an inch, inch and a half, like I said, it's really dependent on you. Let me take this piece and put it over the back. So I'm going to take another section, as you can see here. Oh, hitting the button, that's what I accidentally. Okay. And I'm going to place it again. Oh, see. Ah, there we go. I'm going to place it within here, like so, leaving out about the same amount of hair. And I'm going to put turn. So you could do this one toward the face if you wanted to. See? And I would continue to rotate um, forward away, forward away, forward away. Um, typically, it just seems to work a little bit better that way. Um, and you'll get a better curl. So let me leave that. Okay, should be done. So you have the release button right here. Just going to release down and just kind of let it cool a little bit like so and you'll see it's got that waviness and the ends are left so I'm going to continue on with my hair um, you're going to continue going forward so let me just do another one or two and then I will finish up the other half of the hair and I'll show you kind of how I finish it up so let's do another section right here, pull this back, drop that down, pull up, okay, go, again, pull the curling iron in your hand, and because I'm going from the opposite way, there we go, pull it in, over, clamp it in, leave a, about an inch, inch and a half, maybe more, depending on how um, much of a beachy wave you want to have, this is where I'm leaving mine, and I'm going to curl in, to my hair, and I curled using the L button. The other one I just did R, so you're just gonna keep rotating left, right, left, right. Just hang out here for a few minutes, or not minutes, seconds. And then I'm gonna release. Okay, does that one even come out better? You just want to give it a little bit of a cool down. So doing this helps cool it down. Okay. Let it hang. And then I would just push it back and let it cool. You'll see the other ones are just sitting back there. So I'm going to continue on. Um, and I will show you basically how at the end I um, kind of get it going. So right back. So I'm almost done with my hair. I just wanted to leave out the last one on this side. Um, to basically show you kind of how to make sure you frame your face. So you'll pull your hair in here like so, leaving out that about an inch or so, and you want to curl away from your face in the front. Yep, for a few, they're sticking up there. And then just let go and let it cool. 
So I'll put this down. Now at this point, obviously this whole side of my hair is dry or cool, and this side I've just finished. Um, what you could do now um, is, you know, I let it sit down for about five, at least five minutes, but you could put a touchable spray in. Um, also, you could use a, um, I find it's really cool, especially with the beach wave look, you could use a uh, salt, sea salt spray. Or this one I have too, um, I think it's Way. It's a wave spray, um, adds a little bit of shine too, so it works really well. Um, so let's, I'll try to start on this side. So first what I wanna do is I'm gonna put a little touchable spray in quickly. So it'll hold some of the, uh, the wave, and it smells amazing too, so that's fine. I absolutely love the way Amika smells. But that's a total preference with that. So that's cooling down. It's down here. And then you could do, like I said, you could do either a sea salt spray because that'll help with that beachiness and that pieciness, which we're trying to get to a little bit. Or you can use like a wave spray. And this one I like because it has a little bit of more of a serum -y oil to it. So it's going to help um, in a different way. So let me just open it up. And in there. This one smells really good too. So I did that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate the hair. So it's all about the shake. <laughs> At least that's what I find it. So I'm starting with this side because the other side is still cooling, but I'm shaking the hair to open up the curls. You could use a wide tooth comb if you wanted at this point. I find your best I think with most anything, with, whether it's cooking or anything or makeup, your best tools are these ones right in front of you. So, you can see how the wave is coming out. And I'm just shaking as I'm doing it because first of all, I shouldn't have knots in my hair, um, but I also don't want to pull up my hair. So this side should be cooler. Let's just try to get in there, break it up. If you did want more of a wave, like a little bit looser, you put, like I said, you could use a like a wide tooth comb or brush, brush it out. But I like the texture I get when I just um, do it by hand. And the volume, see, because I was rotating forward and away, forward and away, the volume that your hair gets because your curls aren't intertwining, they are bouncing off of each other. It's pretty cool like that too, and I'm stuck there. And that's pretty much about it. It is a beachy, looser wave. Um, it's not really very cur like curly, curly. You could, like I said, brush it out. But I mean, it's pretty, pretty sweet, and because of the rotation on this, I think that's pretty awesome. Um, it it uh, definitely helps a little bit keeping them tight. Um, cause sometimes you don't know how tight to roll them. It does the work for you, so that's pretty cool. Um, I do like the fact that it is, this piece, a uh, two-in-one piece. So for those of us who either um, haven't invested in a you know really good quality curler or straightening iron, this would be the best of both worlds. You get one item, it takes up less space. Um, I don't know, I know I'm guilty of it. I have a drawer full of straighteners, curlers, and hair dryers. It's pretty ridiculous, but they all are amazing in their own ways. Um, but this, I mean, if I was new to the game or in just general, this would definitely be on my list because even for traveling, um, you have the curling and then you have the straightening aspect of it. It takes up less room. Um, I love the fact that it has the rotation, the different style um, speeds on the motor, and you get to control the heat, and it just fits comfortably in your hand too. Um, it doesn't really, I haven't like seen it burn the shaft of the hair. It works quite well and fast, so 
So far so good, but I like this. Um, I definitely will be doing another review uh, in the near future uh, utilizing the straight ink portion of this, so stay tuned for that. Um, but if you want more details on how to get your hands on the Four Styler 2-in-1, um, definitely check below. There should be some information um, and a special offer from our friends over at Four Styler. So it was great hanging out with you guys again. Until next time, talk to you soon. Bye.